I'm back everyone. It's been a minute since I made a Snapchat tricks or tips video. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate, I guess, some of the newer Snapchat secret things, whatever, whatever you're going to call it, that you can do on Snapchat. Now, I will definitely tell you the first thing I recommend doing is keeping Snapchat updated for the most part, because whenever there's a new feature set or anything added, you may want to go ahead and update it. So you want to go and click on Snapchat and you want to update the application. I'm still on kind of like a recent version, so most of these things should work. But if you're on a very outdated version of Snapchat, I would honestly recommend just going through and just updating the specific application. Now, first of all, making our way into the Snapchat application, there are so many different things that have changed within this app. If you're not too familiar with the UI or anything, you can always go ahead and look at the right. You can swipe down if you want to go and, you know, if you want to search for any filters or anything. You can always click cancel out here. You can always click the plus button right here too, and you can see a lot more features that have been added as well. Before it was like one or two things there, and now it's a lot more things. So you can connect, you know, a series of video clips and create a timeline. So before, if you actually wanted to go ahead and create a, you know, some sort of Snapchat or anything, you actually had to go ahead and pretty much you know, record it here. Then you have the ability of uploading it, but now you can click the plus button, and if you click timeline, you can actually go ahead and pretty much you know, create multiple different you know, sections and things of your Snapchat. So if you wanna go ahead and create like a sort of video like this, we can go and add it like this. If you wanna add like some sort of like video from your camera roll or a picture, you can add a picture like this. You can add it, you know, change the time like this, click here, and it will go ahead and add it right there. And you can go in through and add some more and just add a sound over it. It's basically like TikTok's editing capability straight into your application here too, which is so crazy. So the main reason people do this is to post it on Snapchat, you know, whatever this thing's called, Spotlight I think it's called. So if you wanna go ahead and, you know, add things to Snapchat Spotlight, we can go and edit it here. You can also add sounds if you click add sound right here and you can add all sorts of different sounds too. So if, so if you're somebody who uses Snapchat a lot and this will make it look like you are a way super crazy user than before, you can always click and you can always go out of it and click cancel, probably just, you know, click revert here. But like I said, you have timer, you have grid, you have also, you have all sorts of other things built in there too. And you can always add filters as well. If you go straight into your filter option, there's all sorts of other filters here that most people probably know about. But another thing I want to demonstrate is a little bit outside of here. So let's go and make our way over to this specific, you know, chat section. Now I demonstrated this on my second channel as well, but sometimes if you're actually texting somebody, right? And if for some reason, and if for some reason the chats, you know, they just keep deleting and you don't want them to be deleted, well, you can kind of auto save these chats sometimes, you know, at least they won't be deleted after immediately after seeing them. So if you want, you can hold down on the user that's, you know, you're texting or whatever. You can go and click on chat settings right here. And you can go ahead and click on delete chats, which is right here. And you can click after viewing or 24 hours after viewing. If you want the chats to be deleted after you see them, even if you, you know, if you don't save them, well, they're going to go ahead and be deleted after viewing. But if you, let's say you check, you know, you check on the chats and you forget to save it every once in a while, well, you should click 24 hours after viewing and the chats will go ahead and be deleted automatically after 24 hours. So that's another big thing you can do. And that's something I would recommend you to, you know, at least change, you know, depending on your setting. But another thing I've done a couple of times is actually react to Snapchats. So just like how you can react to messages on iMessage or something, you can actually react to certain, you know, Snapchats. You can react to basically all of them. So what you want to do here is you want to click on the Snapchat whatever, and you want to go ahead and pretty much hold down on the specific Snapchat you want to go and react to. Now you can go ahead and save in chat. You can save to camera roll, all sorts of other things. But at top, you will see these, you know, bars up there. And what this bar is, is pretty much different things you can react to within Snapchat. So let's say you want to go ahead and be like, oh, this is so funny or whatever. We well, can go ahead and send that specific like crying face emoji or whatever. And they will basically be able to go ahead and see that, oh, like, you know, this person reacted to it. So just in case for some reason you don't feel comfortable texting them back or something like that, you can always send like a face in a react emoji. And that's another thing you can do as well. Now, another thing a little bit outside of here is actually pretty insane. This is a newer feature that Snapchat added, and it is actually pretty insane. It's one of my favorite features within Snapchat. There were so many workarounds before, and that's actually changing your Snapchat username. So if you actually want to do this, what you want to do is you want to click on your profile on the top left corner. You want to go and click on settings, which is right there. And what will happen, you'll see a couple of different things that come up. You'll see name, username, whatever, right? But right here under username, if you actually click on it, you will now get into this newer panel that actually says username. So here, what you can do is you can click on that little change username option. And what happens here is it actually gives you the ability of changing the username of your Snapchat account. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, just in case, you know, from what I've heard, if you were a younger person and if you just didn't really like, you know, maybe you just put a stupid username in the first place. Well, now you have the option of, you know, changing it. Now, I think you can only change it every like 60 or 90 days or maybe once a year. I don't even know. 
Okay, so it is like once a year. And also, I, you can't change it to something that someone already has. And I don't think you can change it to a username you've done in the past. So definitely keep that in mind. So if you want to change it to a new username, well, you're, this is your basically option of doing so, which is so cool. It still keeps all your data there. If you don't see this, again, update your Snapchat version and you should be able to see it afterwards. Now, another big thing that a lot of people tend to forget is actually half swiping. So half, so half swiping is still here on Snapchat. It's essentially the ability of, you know, swiping through and seeing the message before you know the person actually sends it or before you actually view it so what you can do is you can like quickly grab on the name of the person right there like i did and you can go and swipe it to the side and see the entire message and you can swipe back and they won't be able to see it now i don't know why so many people have issues with this for some reason they can't do it i'll demonstrate it again it's almost like as if you're moving it as you're kind of clicking on it so you don't want to click on it and then do it because it's not going to work you're going to have to like swipe while you're moving so again it's just like this like swipe while you're moving while you grab it and that'll pretty much do it so what this will do is basically if I go ahead and you see like I received a message, received a message on their end, it shows that I actually went ahead and saw it and I opened it. But if I were to go and open it this way, and as long as I'm holding it down and I still have, you know, grasp to it right here, they won't be able to be notified or, you know, message that I've seen the message. So now I can swipe back and they won't be able to see it. So that's a really cool thing. I do it every once in a while and it's something I would probably recommend you to do as well. Now, another thing I've seen some people have trouble with is actually, you know, enabling dark mode on Snapchat. Now, I've talked about this so many times, but basically to do this, you want to click on your profile in the top left. You want to click on settings up there and you want to go and scroll down and you want to get onto app appearance. So app appearance is right here, as you can see, and you want to click on it. Now, the reason why some people have issues enabling dark mode is because they are sometimes stuck on this match system settings. Some people tell you to turn on match system, although it probably should be enabled always light or always dark. So if you want to be on always dark or always light, you should probably enable it per app here, because if you actually change your specific app appearance, if you change it to match system, and let's say you're not always on dark mode, well, that's probably going to be the issue there. So you want to go ahead and make sure you're either on, you know, always light or always dark, depending on the system you want. In this case, always dark. And it will go ahead and change your whole entire Snapchat onto dark mode, which is so cool. I'll go ahead and demonstrate it here. So you can go and click here and it changes pretty much everything to dark mode, which is so cool. It doesn't really, you know, flip anything. So if you go back to the camera module right here, it's still going to be everything like that. It's just going to be dark mode, which is so cool. If you want to go and turn it back, you go back up here, click on settings, you scroll down into app appearance here, you go and click on always light or whatever else you want, and that's pretty much that. Now, next thing I want to show you is probably going to be the last thing, unfortunately, for this video. It's actually seeing if somebody blocked you or not. Now, I've talked about this so many times, but essentially, if you want to go ahead and see if somebody blocked you or whatever, the basic way to do this is pretty much just to go ahead and send them a Snapchat. So if you can, or you don't even have to do that, if you just go ahead and swipe down, and if you search for their name, and if their name doesn't show up, well, then that basically could mean that, you know, they technically could have blocked you, but they could have also deleted their account. If you went ahead and actually sent them a message as well, and let's say it says pending right there. So if you sent them like a message or a Snapchat, and if it says pending right there, where usually it says received to a chat, whatever, react to a chat, whatever, well, then that could also mean they blocked you. And, you know, if you search for the username, you can't find it. But if you also see that, you know, they still have a Snapchat account, but for some reason you're just not able to contact them, well, that probably means they blocked you too. So that probably means you probably shouldn't contact them anymore. So those are a couple of different tricks, tips, whatever you want to call it, that you should check out definitely on Snapchat. If you have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.